going to lead you through counting to, well, let's say, let, let's count to 30. I think 30 will give you an idea of, if we get to at least 30, you'll know how to count using the abacus. Now, what number do we start with when we're counting with numbers? Some of you may have said one. Actually, the first number is a very important number, and that number is zero. Okay? Right now, the what, what you see at the abacus in its cleared state says zero. There are no numbers on the board, and even though zero means nothing, or y y you don't really consider it a number, zero is a number. And when no beads are touching the, the center beam or the reckoning bar, that number indicates zero. So the first number we're always going to use is the number zero. And each beam has 10 numbers, including zero. Uh, one, one more thing before we start counting is that for now, for now, I want you to not worry about these three beams right here. Just let them be. They can ignore them. After this dot that you see right here, we're going to have this beam right here be our ones column. And I'll explain that a little bit later, later. But this is where we're going to start counting is the first brown column here, or the third one from the right. Okay, so here we go. Let's, let's start counting. Right here, the first number that we have is zero. Congratulations, you counted to zero on the abacus. Feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> now let's do one. Let's see if we can do this. Take a deep breath. One. How does that feel? You just counted to one using the abacus. Now, as you might imagine, two is probably a piece of cake. Two. There are two beads pushed up towards the center reckoning bar, and now we've counted to two using the abacus. You've probably already zipped past me and have already gotten to four. <laughs> There's four on the abacus, but what do we do next? Now remember, the top beads are worth five, and the bottom beads are worth one. So to do five, I do that. That is the number five on the abacus. And you may have guessed this already because we talked about it a little bit before. That's six, seven, eight, and nine. There we go. There is zero to nine on the abacus. Let's do it again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Excellent. Take a minute, pause the video, and I would like you to just try and do that a couple times on your own. Just, it's, I mean, get used to the feel of your abacus so your thumb doesn't accidentally bump against other beads. Just get the feel of it. Count to nine, count, count from zero to nine, ten times. That's like counting to 100, but you'll get it. it I, I want you to get the feel of that the abacus and what it, how you move it around using the correct placement of your fingers. You're not using your pinky or doing something weird like that. Try clearing it, okay? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's do after nine comes ten. Not a difficult transition, but it's important to recognize what's going to happen here because we're moving over one more place value. And to make the number ten, if you write the number ten, how do you write it? You do a one and a zero. So that's how we do it on the abacus. We move this column back to the zero placement and put a one there. That represents the number 10. Now, you don't, I, I'm guessing that you're probably going to recognize that to count to 11, if we could do 11, we don't go like that. That doesn't mean 11. We don't do that for 11. No, 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 no. Here's 10. 11 is a 1 and a 1. There is 11. 12. 13. 14. 15. 
16, 17, 18, 19. Now what comes after 19? 20. And there you go. It, if you can get that, 30 is going to be a piece of cake. So let's, let's do 21. 21 is written a 2 and a 1. So the same way you write a 2 and a 1 is how you do it on the abacus. We already got the 2 here. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, now, before I do it, take a guess. Do it on your abacus. I hope you're doing this with me. What's 30? 30. And you can keep going through. But each time, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Uh-oh, what are we going to do for 50? Everything goes back. There's 50. Simple as that. A 5 here and a 0 here. 5, 0 is 50. Now let's say we keep doing this. How would you do 100? 100. 155, 156, okay? So that's the lesson on counting. Uh, I w play around with your abacus, like go through it and, and really get a feel for what, it's almost like learning another language. We're used to seeing written numbers and, and it has to be translated into these bead configurations. B but once you get, I mean, think about it. I mean, from the earliest age, before we can visualize numbers, our first natural instinct was to count on our fingers. And, and using manipulatives is kind of a natural thing. So don't be, a, you'll, once you get used to this again, it, I think it's a little bit like going back to the way your mind originally thought and the way things are. You'll start getting how these look. I mean, if you close your eyes and then open them again and look at this, it, it takes a minute to figure out what, this, what number is this saying. But once you train your mind to read Abacus, you'll get this really easy and you'll love it and you'll be able to calculate things faster in your mind. But for now, all you're going to do is just count using the Abacus. So just do it right here. Remember what I said. Don't worry about these. Don't use these three. We're going to save those for later. I want to get used to counting starting at this bead or this beam here. So start... One, two, three, four. And remember remember to use just these two fingers. Only the thumb moves up. <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, and keep going like that. Just practice using it. Count as high as you want to count. Count to a million if you want to. might take you all week to get there. But, I mean, count as high as you want to count. It, you, you can just get used to counting so that you're, you're doing it correctly and recognizing place value as you do it. Okay, there you go. Have fun with that.